Hello everybody, my name is Brent Johnson and I'm with Heartfield Automation. This week I'm going to talk a little bit about the SICK H18 sensors. I've used these in some of my past videos as inputs to our Compact S controller. I want to sh dedicate this video this week purely to these sensors. These are great little sensors that SICK manufactures locally here in Savage, Minnesota. They're super durable and they have some really great key features that I want to highlight over at the workbench. After that we're going to head outside and see see what happens if we run this over with a Chevy Tahoe. All right, let's head over to the workbench. All right guys, here we are at the workbench. The sensor that I have plugged in right now is a diffuse sensor. Basically the emitter and receiver are both inside of the housing right here. Another thing to note, these are IP69K. These can handle high washdown environments or outdoor environments. That's a really great feature of these SICK H18 sensors. Another great feature is the light bar on the back. Notice there's a light bar when I put my hand in front of it. And if I just go at a little bit of an angle and have it so it's sensing a little bit less of my hand, the light bar is a little lower. This is a really great tool for helping you to know how much light this photo eye is seeing coming reflected back into it. It's a super powerful feature of the SICK H18 sensors. Next I'm going to show how we can utilize the black white shift in teaching two different objects to this sensor and so show that this sensor really is good at seeing many different colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach this to a white surface which has very high reflective features since it's white and then I'm going to and then I'm going to see what happens when I put a dark object in front of it after I've taught it to the white object and see if it still senses it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn the little potentiometer on the top here right there just like that and then you can see that I'm sensing the white object. Now let's put the black object in there. I'm sensing the black object as well. You can see the amber light on top is going true. This is a super powerful feature. These sensors have great background suppression built into them. I highly recommend these sensors for you. All right, let's head outside and see what happens when we, when we run this thing over with an SUV. All right guys, here we are. I've got my Tahoe. I've got the six sensor here. And I'm gonna show you how we can run it over and it will still work. All right, so as you can see, you can see the light beam on my hand. We're getting an output. It's hard to see with the lighting, but here we go. Start her up and we're gonna put this under the tire of a Tahoe and see what happens. All right, go. All right, stop. Got a little muddy. Let's see if it works. Yep, still get a beam. This thing can be run over by a Chevy Tahoe. Pretty impressive, these sensors are great.